G'day legends, in this video, we're gonna take a look at a brand new update that's just been brought to Automy. If you don't know what Automy is, it's an online application that lets you create AI vocals. All you have to do is upload a vocal recording and then you can convert that into one of their many awesome AI vocals on the site. And then you can just download that, drop it back into production and have your new AI vocal. You can use this to pitch ideas if you wanted to hear what a song sounded like with a female vocal, or if you wanted to add different voices for harmonies. If you wanna create quiet tracks, it's a really cool application that's only limited by your imagination. So with the new update, they've brought a harmony generator, which is absolutely incredible because now you can upload a vocal file and then from that file, you can just create harmonies. You can choose a third above, a third below, you can do fifths, you can do a drone in the key of the song. There's a load of cool options and we're gonna explore that right now. I've got a little track here, I'm gonna show you that real quickly. Always find myself back here again I just can't escape from the past My mind's become my worst enemy Sowing seeds of doubt so easily Okay, so we're gonna grab this lead vocal and see if we can create some nice little harmonies to chuck behind this. So all I need to do is export this audio file without any plugins on it. So because this is a mono audio file and I want to export it as mono, what I'm gonna do in Logic is I'm gonna come up to File, go Export One Region as Audio File. This is gonna allow me to export this as a mono file. Now in here, I just hit Bypass Plugins and then I'm gonna save this as Automy Harmony Test. So then what we need to do is come over to the Automy site, sign in and then come over to convert up the top right hand side. And then over on our left, we're gonna see this make harmonies tab. So let's click on that. Okay, now what we need to do is upload our vocal. So let's just click here, Automy harmony test. Okay, so now the vocal's uploaded, we need to pick the key. So our song is in D major. This is really important because it's what helps generate the harmonies. Now there's also an option to pick from presets, which gives you a bunch of harmonies already selected for you. So for example, we could take Dreamy Indie Stack, select that, and it creates three vocals for us. We've got the root drone, we've got a fifth drone, and then we've also got a melody as well. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. My mind's become good. my worst enemy. Sowing seeds of doubt so easily. That actually worked really well. So I've already got a solid bass then to work from. And you can just click on the picture of the singer and you can go in and change voices and pick your favorite vocalist for each harmony. Okay, so that was pretty cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of pick my harmonies and create this. So let's delete these and we're gonna add a track. Now the first one, I actually wanna see what it sounds like adding a female octave above. So let's click on our picture of the vocalist and we're gonna click female up the top left here. We've got a couple of tags that we can choose from to help kind of refine our search. So I'm gonna go with like country, indie, folk. Let's see what we got out of those. I feel like Gracie might be a good option. So let's try Gracie out. And see this little button here, it's got the octave. So we can push this up or down an octave. Now I wanna see what it sounds like an octave above. So let's hit that plus. You can see we've got the one now. That means we push it up one octave. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's add another track now. Let's use Jordan and let's go up to the third above. I feel like this melody will suit a harmony that's the third above. I'm just gonna mute Gracie's melody so we can just hear this one. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. Pretty nice. Always find myself back here again. Sounds cool. All right, let's add another one. Let's add a drone to this now. So we're gonna go root drone. So it should just be like a D note. And let's pick another vocalist. Let's go with Travis. Let's check out what Trav adds to this. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go one more. I want to try something out here. Let's go a third below. So we'll go minus third. And let's change it to someone with a bit of a deeper voice. Theodore looks cool. Soul deep. Oh, yeah. Always find myself back here again. 
I just can't escape from the past. Ooh. My mind's become my worst enemy. It's a bit saucy. Sowing seeds of doubt so easily. I know that against the track, that harmony is not going to sit in there that well. But what we might do is change this to a third above. So we've already got that. But then we're going to push it down an octave. Always find myself back here again. Mm, it's nice. I just can't escape from the past. Yeah. So that's a bit more harmonious. And I know that's going to sit over the chords a little bit nicer. And since we've got one more track, why not? Let's just go a little bit crazy. Let's add one more. We're going to do a melody, but the octave down. And again, let's find a voice that might suit something a little bit deeper. I'm going to go with Blake. He looks kind of gritty. <laughs> let's see what he brings. Octave below now. So we're going to have high octave, a third, my melody, a root drone, third, above, but the octave down, and then the melody, the octave down. So we've just got a massive stack of vocals here. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. All right, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty thick. Now, the main thing you can probably notice is that it's all very tight because it's all the same vocal take. But if you uploaded different vocal takes and then chose a different voice and a different harmony, you would get variances, which would make it sound even more believable. Or there's a couple of tricks that you can do in your door to just like kind of spread this stuff out a little bit and make them not as perfect, which we will do in a moment. So I'm happy with everything we've chosen there. I think that stuff sounds really cool. And then we can pick and choose what we want in the mix. So what I'm going to do is hit convert. And then this is basically going to allow us to download these. Okay, so you can see over here, it's now converting this into a file that we can download. One thing that's really cool that's worth mentioning is that if you generate a harmony, but then you feel like you need to tweak it a little bit, maybe it's just like one note needs to go up a little bit, or like, you know, you just want to adjust it slightly. You can actually just open it up in the editor here, which is then going to allow you to change the pitch of that harmony and do whatever you want with it. My mind's become my worst enemy. Say I wanted that last note to go up higher. We can just jump in and change that. My mind's become my worst enemy. So it's fully customizable, which is awesome. Okay, so now that this is done, all we have to do is hit the download tab over here. All right, so we've got our five harmony vocals that we've created here. Now let's just drag these into our door. Now we just need to line these back up with our vocal. All right, let's blend these vocals together now. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. My mind's become my worst enemy. Sowing seeds of doubt so easily Always find myself back here again I just can't escape from the past My mind's become my worst enemy Sowing seeds of doubt so easily all right, pretty sweet. So what we could do now, since these are all the same vocals, we could just nudge these a little bit and just kind of move them a little bit out of time with each other. So I'm just gonna nudge that one to the left a little bit, nudge that one to the left, two nudges that way, two nudges that way, three nudges that way. Let's see what this sounds like. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. My mind's become my worst enemy Sowing seeds of doubt so easily I mean that sounds really cool. Let's have a listen to them in solo now. Always find myself back here again I just can't escape from the past So we could probably get rid of the low octave, we don't really need that. Always find myself back here again. Even the low third below might not really be necessary for this kind of song, but it did sound cool. So let's just go with the drone and the third above and let's see how they sound with the, the female high octave as well. Always find myself back here again. I just can't escape from the past. 
So how cool is that? So many options for getting the perfect harmonies and backing vocals in your mix. So I think this is a really great addition to Automy and I already think that Automy is an amazing application. So this has just stepped it up to another level. And so if you wanna check out Automy for yourself and try this stuff out, there's a link in the description below. Head over to Automy's site, try it out for yourself and see what you think. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you also want to support this channel, make sure you check out the link in the description below to my website. Go check out my range of mixing courses and drum samples. Grabbing a copy of any of that stuff really helps support this channel. If you want to learn a little bit more about Audemy and what you can do with this application, then check out this next video coming up. Always find myself back here again I just can't escape from the past